Bear with me one moment. Hey, everybody, we're live. No it problem. is 8.30. You hear my voice, you hear Godfather Grizz. The next step for me is I'm going to the YouTube channel to prime the pump, which I have to do on YouTube Live Mobile, which I might add is no criticism against YouTube Live Mobile. It is just a fact. Hello, everybody. Um, hi. And, uh, and we are here. And uh, I'm thumbs up to find to get this rolling, and I'm gonna tweet it out next, and I'm gonna change this to sports rather than people in blogs, <clears throat> which will take only a few seconds. Ready? Hey Barry, everybody's Lee. getting the visual Godfather, not the disembodied Godfather. Right, you're not getting the ghost of the Godfather. You're not getting the ghost, not even the ghost of the post. How, how about that? But you're you're getting the Godfather. In all of his glory, in all of his barbecued glory. Right. How do you like that? Barbecued glory, okay? Barbecued glory. I did say barbecued glory because he barbecued. Godfather did a lot of things which you're going to discuss tonight uh, because we've got a lot to discuss, folks. But first of all, there's the show page, and uh, and there are more people. Oh, gosh, you know what? Uh, I gotta change this to sports real quick. It's people in blogs, advanced settings, sports, right there. Oops, that's not it. That's it. Hey Barry Lee, how's it going? Hey everybody, come on in, come on, come on. Barry Lee, can you please tweet this out under hashtag Oakland? Thank you. And um, all right, so we've got that and. Hey Karen, how are you? Hey Rick Rice. Hey Kook Snipe. Hey, how you doing, Rita Kuko? How are you? Kuko or Kuku? Kuku, 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 Kuku. I'm saying thank you. Hello. Oh, and then if you sounds, can, if you can do another sounds one. Sounds like it's all coming through. Yes. Now we are going right back to here. We are. There is the Godfather. Bam. Right there. And I am. <clears throat> he is forever Oakland, which is outstanding. And I'm going to do something that is rather unusual, but not but necessary. Hold on a second. Bam. Oh, you know what? Godfather, do me a favor. Uh, yes. Okay. Warm them up while I go get my special device. I'll be right back. I just got an idea. No problem. I got an idea. I'll be right back. Go for it. As we do on Ma Bella this past weekend, serving many worldwide. I think the theme of this show, number one, is we want to let everybody know thank you for all the prayers and the positive energy you guys sent to my lovely Monica Lynn's grandmother, Grandma Carmen Sanchez. She passed away Saturday afternoon, um, and she's in good hands. So as is hurtful as that is, and I know that um, she's Monica's world, Monica is her world. We want to thank all of you for love and the positive prayers because it is felt. It added to the glow of her ascension. She's in good hands now. So we just want to thank you guys for that from the bottom of our hearts. And God bless you, Grandma Carmen says, says we love you for eternity. We also want to remind you of everybody who was affected by the hurricane in Florida, the South, even in Houston about a week or two ago, and those affected once again by Hurricane Irma, who are just getting their power back we mailed some of our items to some of those folks in Florida, and it came back. So we remailed it again, just so you guys know. And we got the tracking numbers for it. I talked to Octavio today about that as well. So your packages are coming. But God bless all you that withstood the, the power outage and, and being homeless and having no supplies at the time. Um, it's, it's moments like that that remind us of what it's all about. And so, so for all those folks out there, we're still praying for you constantly. To have balance to get back to normal life that's very important <clears throat> we also want to thank all of you that come on this show and support the zenny 62 show and godfather Grizz forever oakland forever oakland is international we are clearly an international brand that has the most pro open supporters worldwide and and when zenny gets back we're going to get into the oakland raider identity this past weekend we hosted our Make Open Better Charity Festival, a three-night, four-day event 
that they host nowhere else in the National Football League. And this past weekend, and we sent out posts, we had pictures, we had media attention, we attended a JP meeting, we had charities, we had the Oakland Police Department show up. It was spectacular. This past weekend, which is going to be the main theme of tonight's show, is when you looked at Mob Valley, you saw all the combined elements of what our Oakland Raider identity is about, and you saw all the combined elements of what we are preserving, protecting, and fighting for, for the greatest culture of people and fans worldwide. You're not going to get that anywhere else. We displayed that in a three, nine, four day medical Better Charity Festival. It was phenomenal. Well, I think Mothers Against Drunk Driving for representing want to thank the Shepherd's Gate out of Livermore, California, that is a clean Christian shelter that houses women and children in domestic violence and alcohol and drug abuse. want to thank you for working with us for the last 70 years. want to thank the 29th Avenue Animal Shelter right in the Fruitvale area that is in the same area that I live in and that council member, Noel Gallo, which we're going to get in in a second, which we applaud. This, that's his district. So we want to thank the 29th Avenue Animal Shelter for being present. But yeah, so Denny's got the Denny's got the show notes. We got to talk about Oakland Air football. We want to talk about CBS that came strong at 4:30 a.m. Friday morning, September 15th, on my Valley, and put the best media message anybody could ask for leading up to JP meeting. So Denny, I warmed up our audience, my man. Go ahead and take it over, bud. Yeah. So I want. To know, Grizz, what you thought of Friday's JPA event. I'm taking things out of order a little bit, but uh, I think that's the no one everybody's asking about, you know? Yeah, so, they, they, uh, from the Godfather perspective, and just remember, everybody has a different perspective. Mine's a little deeper because the people that are in charge of everything, I work with directly behind the scenes and or in person. So um, what I can say about Friday's event was that they, when they came out of closed session, the other agenda items, they passed through quickly, they had no guest speakers, and their main agenda that day was ours. And so you could tell by the way they sped up the guest speakers, which we're good for, they were prepared. They were prepared. And there's, there's still, still some questions on what people saw in the video and one of the council or JP members leading. That wasn't that, wasn't that set the tone. Mm -hmm. to our agenda. We, we got across what it is that they need to get involved with, period. And they made it clear to me, just so you guys know because I'm involved, and our lawyers made it clear to me, just so you guys know because I'm not involved, that there is a, um, a, a piece of information they needed from our lawyers that they're getting right now as we speak this week so they can finish this process um, and so they can look at this with the microscope and we want them, trust me, my people, we wanted them to have an approval if the JP had standing, and or we wanted them to give a recommendation. But what we wanted is to make sure they have everything they need. So they have no excuse not to move forward. So they just came out of recess. I'm aware of this because you're put, you're truly, I hustled our defined language to every JPA board member, to their lawyers, as well as, it was mentioned last week, Yours truly had a sit down with State Assemblyman Rob Bonta. And Rob Bonta wrote a powerful message to the JPA. Rob Bonta is behind this, the JPA becoming the client and or the city and county becoming the client. So we got all these elements together, leading up to it, and I'm going to get back to the JPA meeting. We were so fortunate that 4.30 a.m. that morning, my people, which I mentioned briefly, CBS came out to Mob Alley. 4.30 a.m. Because we're up the night before. They did such a powerful piece on setting the tone for that meeting, for our politicians to hear, for Mark Davis to hear, and for the NFL to hear, letting everyone know we're coming. We're coming full steam ahead. We're doing it professionally. We're doing it methodically. We're doing it the right way. And regardless of obstacles along the way, or regardless of municipalities having to get their communication together, we're doing the right things with the Citizen Good Initiative. CBS set the tone where millions of people know the California saw it. I was able to post it, actually record it after it left because I was awake on my Valley since we have a TV dish. With our Forever Open hats, that got spread like wildfire. It got people pumped up. It got people rejuvenated about what we're doing. But 
to get back to the JP meeting, I personally thought overall was positive. I love all the guest speaker segments, especially Novo Gallo, Oakland City Councilman of District 5 of Fruitvale, came in, was the last speaker, and lit it up. Novo Gallo is offering on his end, we're needing the city and we're needing the county to pledge at least $100,000, and I can reveal this now, pledge $100,000 to have skin in the game, to become a client, to make a legal case strong. Neville Gallo himself is offering to pledge that himself for the city side. Neville Gallo himself brought up a great point that the only reason why the Oakland Raiders are in Oakland is because it went to court and the court told them they couldn't move. So we're impressed upon the municipalities. You gotta let the court system work for us. You gotta help, you gotta utilize these pieces that I've hustled, our core staff has hustled, Zenny's helped greatly, all of our people together to combine litigation finance, to combine different ways to fund this thing, and to have litigation finance that understands the local courts and the local judges, work with Jim Quinn and Eric Hostat, so together collectively, if and when this moves forward, we are going to, we smell blood, we feel confident. So October 20th is our next scheduled JP meeting. But between now and then, we may have a second potential scenario that is manifesting itself that I can't reveal right now. All they know is there is enough of the right people who are ready for this. God bless you, Nate Miley, for all the conversation. God bless you, Scott McKibben. And then, as you saw, they retained him. Yeah. That came up. They voted to retain Scott McKibben. He's been our main cheerleader. Um, just so everybody knows, too, and I'm going to state it for the record, I respect everybody that's in JP, regardless if they're for this or not. Everybody knows, including us, including our cheerleaders behind the scenes, Larry Reed is not down for this whole process. And guess what? That's Larry Reed's progress, and guess what? We are going to bull rush. We're going to go right through Larry Reed, and we're going to make sure we get enough of everybody else in this October 20th if it's the JP and Cedar County to push this thing through because I smell blood and I believe the municipalities are looking to myself right now to look into my core staff as leading this thing, as guiding this thing. And it's going to take that mental grit and that 66 mile forever open heart that all of you support that they're listening to right now. Our lawyers listen to us right now. We are writing the script and we get this to the next level. We will win. I'm fully convinced this isn't a rah-rah speech. We will win. I smell blood. So what we needed from last Friday, when people were confused about the agenda item changing, just was they needed more information, they got it now. So between now and the 20th, something will manifest itself to get a client to push us forward. Keep the faith. We'll keep you guys posted. And thank you for Channel 7. Thank you for NBC 11. Thank you for the media outlets of CBS that came out and assisted us. Thank you for all of our partners looking. Thank you for Kate, Kai, and Ruben, and all those from Modesto that came out. Thank you for Joey, a.k.a. Raider Maniac. Thank you for Coon Snipe. Chris, let me tell you guys something. Chris Layton, a.k.a. Coon Snipe, is my partner on Ma Valley. He helps set up. He helps shut down. He helps get information. He is a workhorse. He's one of the biggest investors on the Zenny Show. This yep. guy is phenomenal. That's right. And Christopher. So we have it going. And, and, and one of the things I mentioned to the JPA, is this. You look across the street that day, you look at Ma Valley, the NFL's longest tailgate, the longest charitable tailgate. We had all the elements of our identity right there. That's what we're fighting for. That's what we want to preserve and protect for a lifetime. So that's my opinion about the JPA meeting. Zenny, please give me two cents. Oh, I, I, I think you did a, a great job at doing that. I, um, I, I basically believe that the they're actually warming up to the fact that this is possible. And, you know, something else, too, is I'm going to wax philosophical here, but, you know, that's my want. Something I've experienced, uh, a kind of a, I don't want to say epiphany, but a realization last week when I attended the screening of the movie the force about the Oakland Police Department well, a movie that was made by a guy I know Peter Nix and it was an okay movie but that's another story what I realized 
is that there is a problem where you have bureaucrats and specialists talking to each other and the citizenry is ignored and I'll explain what I'm talking about by way of a story that happened to me in 1997 when I was economic advisor to L.E. Harris, the mayor of Oakland, and I, some of you may have heard this before, but a lot of you have not. And it goes like this. I, we were, if you've ever been to Oakland, you've been to 14th and Broadway. You've probably been down there for a protest. You've probably have been down there to go to City Hall, but you know where 14th and Broadway is. Well, you know how the bus cutouts are designed to accept the large buses. Well, they are that way because of my work. I established the Oakland Downtown Coalition. What the coalition did was it brought together a bunch of business groups that didn't talk to each other. Specialists, right? Well, I had we had six months of meetings. I got I spent $120 per meeting on food and wine catered by Max's. We grew to like almost 60 people. And got a write up at a couple of media outlets of the day, the old media type day. I got a call from a, a woman by the name of Buna China of a comp organization that is active to this day called BOSS. And the acronym aside, they represent the homeless or, and they do a great job at that. Well, I didn't know who Buna China was. Buna asked if she could come to the meeting and I said, I don't see a place for you. Well, the next month she turned around and did this. Three members of the Oakland Police Department came to my meeting at the mayor's office large conference room. And they said, is Zinni Abraham here? And I said, I'm Zinni Abraham. And they said, well, there's a group of people outside who want to talk with you. And I said, okay. So I walked out and they were actually chanting, hey, hey, ho, ho, Zinni Abraham has got to go. And when I walked outside, they kept chanting it. Now, I listened to them chant this for about oh five minutes and I realized they didn't realize I was Zinni Abraham they actually expected a white guy I'm not kidding so I went down there and to make matters worse I chatted with him I chatted hey hey ho ho Zinni Abraham has got to go for another full five minutes and then after about five minutes of this foolishness I jumped on one of, up on top of one of those little lecterns there at City Hall where the light standard is and I said hey everybody I'm Zinni Abraham okay and they were shocked. So I asked them what the, the idea was. The turn they've been lied to, but the long story short is we made room for them. Alex Greenwood opened the mayor's. We op opened and I opened the uh, Oakland City Hall, City Council chambers. There were a large people group. Buna had paid these homeless people to come. They didn't know why they were there. They just knew they were getting paid five bucks, which is kind of dirty if you think about it. Okay, but what I learned is this. If you don't have everybody at the table, if you're not talking to everybody, you're not going to be effective. And the problem with bureaucrats today, the problem that we saw and, and played out at the JPA meeting, when you had the JPA elected officials and the attorneys there, is that they have their own group. And they talk among themselves. And so when someone invades that group, like we're doing, except I'm sort of a hybrid because I was part of that group. But when someone evades that group, they feel threatened. And even then, when I was in that group, because my ideas were different, and I gave the example at the JPA meeting, they were still threatened. That example I'm giving you and what you experienced is legion today. It the, the pro explains the problem with the police department. It explains why Donald Trump is our president and why people elected him as a way of responding to what they feel are elite, elites that have not solved their problems of putting the food on the table, okay? I can give you a legion of examples. But my point is, that's why we're here today, and it's important to realize that what we're doing is revolutionary, but it's also part of an overall movement of citizenry. Citizens are tired of being dictated to. Now, no, I'm not saying the message that they're dictated to is right or wrong. It's that they're not included, okay? And they feel frustrated. We got President Trump as a reaction to that. A lot of African Americans, some of you out there who are watching this now, didn't vote 
because you didn't like the choices, okay? That's true for a lot of people regardless of color. Politics aside, well, politics not aside because this is, this is politics. What I'm encouraging you to do is get involved and stay involved and keep your voice loud and don't think that you don't matter. You do. It's You're at the perfect juncture in society where bureaucrats of all stripes are feeling the heat. The Oakland police are feeling the heat. Police departments around the field, country are feeling the heat. Governments are feeling the heat. Uh, hey, the JPA is feeling the heat. The let me let me interject, Zenny. You just said that. My goodness, Zenny just said that perfectly on a grand scale. And also, what I take from what he said is, we're doing that right now. Zenny understands. The citizens, led by Forever Oakland and my partner Ray Baba and his organization, we stand with Oakland, we're doing that right now. Yep. This is exactly what we're doing. And, and as a result of how he described, there's sometimes communication breakdowns amongst different groups. One thing, myself personally, as the main liaison between our lawyers in New York and our municipalities here, is the defined language and the different elements that were putting together for a recipe of success, all of them are getting the same message from me. <clears throat> and I repeat that message, I follow up with that message. There's different ways, because everyone is different in how you talk to them. I've had meetings with them. I constantly reach out to them. I walk into their offices. We have text messages, we have emails. So the warming up aspect is a result of being persistent and having a voice, like Zenny says, and our voice is positive and constructive. Regardless if the NFL and the Raiders take what we're doing is wrong, they should at least take a step back and look what these people in Oakland are doing for their identity. Mm -hmm. What are we doing trying to move this entity when we have our people right here? That's the whole point. Yep. So not only are we setting a tone locally for an identity, we're going to be setting a tone worldwide for people to take a stand have a voice, do it constructively, do it positively. You do have a say. Mm -hmm. And in order for that say to become a reality, you have to have a plan of action. You have to be surrounded by a great group of guys and gals who share your vision. It doesn't matter what the race is. It doesn't matter if they're rich or poor. But if you guys have the right drive and the right spiritual purity, you will make it happen. And we're seeing that right now against all obstacles, dealing with some municipalities that they save themselves, they move like icebergs, they've had the Stockholm Syndrome for years here, we're moving them, my people. I smell it. I taste it. Our people around us taste it. And because they're buying into the spirit of the whole thing, and if they continue to be guided by that spirit, we will win. Hey, can you tell them what the Stockholm Syndrome is, Grizz? What is uh, just, just my understanding is, is when you keep repeating the same thing and you're stuck for years and you get the same results of nothing and, and there needs to be a change, there needs to be a flushing. So this community, unfortunately, um, with all the great things about this community, don't get me wrong, we have a lot of heart, art, artsy people, athletic people, we have a lot of talented people here, but some of our municipalities for years, and Zenny can attest to this because he's been connected to the municipalities here for many years, have been stuck, have, haven't moved forward, haven't, haven't come up to age with doing certain things or promoting your city, what have you. So when we say Stockholm Syndrome, that means there's, you can be stuck in an area. And what we're doing is we're forcing them to become unstuck. Now, tell us about Mob Alley and the Make Oakland Better Charities over the weekend and how that went. Wow, you know, MOB stands for making Oakland better. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, just a, a reminder, now that we go through the whole history, we started as an overnight tailgate for homeless people. Mm -hmm. We actually started as a charitable tailgate in Oakland in 1999. And at that time, by 73rd and down the street, between High Street and 667 and Carlton Way, there were several homeless encampments. Every couple of years, the city of Oakland police are forced to move the encampment somewhere else or move the encampment. Basically, they don't clean it up, they just move it around. It's like a rheumatoid arthritis. So at that time frame, there were several in the Coliseum vicinity 
And when two people, myself, my partner at the time, when we set up our shop, we were the only ones on the Coliseum, around the Coliseum to do it. All these homeless people came and we fed them galore. From that time on, we turned into an all we can tailgate, then we turned into a year round entity. Mob locally means make Oakland better. Mob away from Oakland means make others better. And we work with several entities and charities. That's what we're called Mob Charity. So this past weekend, at the Make Oakland Better Charity Festival, that was a three night, four day tailgate, the longest NFL. We had Mothers Against Drunk Driving set up with us, which was an honor. We had the Shepherd's Gate, which is a Christian shelter that houses women and children of domestic violence, alcohol and drug abuse out of Livermore. And we had the 29th Animal Animal Shelter. See, we deal with humans, we deal with animals, we start locally, and we also branch out to the region of Alameda County to make Oakland better, make others better. They all represented strong. They had their colors there. People interacted with them. We were just basically, this past weekend was more of a promotional weekend. Not as much as people donating to them, because after this weekend, every home game, when, when we'll be written funds for them, when we'll be getting a list of items for them. So this weekend set the tone. And so, what's the in the media, mm-hmm. with the Oakland police, which then you get touched on in just a second, mm-hmm. with the Calgators and with supporters coming in worldwide, the Make Oakland Better Charity Festival and all combined elements have the Oakland Raiders identity exemplified at the best during that three or four time frame, three or four day time frame. It was phenomenal. So, but yeah, the charities they represented strong today. Wow. Hey, so what was the weather like? <laughs> I love the weather. <laughs> the weather was. Man, I mean, I, I mean, you can, see, I was out there for three nights, days, um, camping out. I, I don't live too far, so I get to go home and I get to take a shower. Uh, but I protected my skin. The weather was perfect. It got a little warm sometimes, but it was typical East Bay weather this time of year. We had some clouds, we had sun, we had a nice breeze. We couldn't ask for better weather. Hey, also talk about, if you don't mind, this whole idea of who's on our side because it's clearly obvious to me that Nate Miley is but a lot of people have asked me about Larry Reed walking out of the room and he had a meeting to go to but what was your response or thought of his you know departure if you don't mind talking about it or if you do I understand if you don't okay yeah here's my thing in in my experience of being involved in JPA Mm -hmm. and these politicians from 2003 and 2005, I was heavily attending JPA meetings to abolish the OPSL system. So this isn't the first time I've seen a JPA board member leave early. Right. I don't really take a lot from that. The, the, the reason is, I agree. regardless I agree. of what the motive I agree. is, regardless of what the motive is, we're going to get our message across. And just, and, and just a reminder to everybody, even when Larry Reed left early, and then afterwards, Scott Haggerty and Lynette, but they were there for the most, for the most part. They all are. They all have gotten the same message, the defined language. It's been repeated to them two or three times, so it's all in their minds regardless. We did that. I did that personally with all of them before that meeting. So I didn't take a lot from Larry even. And, and just so we all know, it's no surprise, the media is talking about, Larry's not on board for nothing. And, you know, God bless his soul. I'm not going to criticize the man. We're going to go through the man. Mm-hmm. We're going to work around the man because we're not going to allow one person regardless of why, hold this process hostage that needs to happen and the majority of people around them are warmed up to it. So we're going to make this thing work in lieu of the obstacles, in lieu of Larry Reed. But him leaving, I didn't put much into it. That just happened. Hey, viewers, you got any questions out there? Oh, now my next question is how did the silent auction go? And... uh can we still get the Mob Alley wine? And can we still get the Mob Alley special shirt? And so we get, can we still get the Mob Alley special poster? You guys can get everything. You guys can get the t-shirt signed by Bill Romanowski for a $50 bid. You guys can get the wine, the 66 Mob Forever Oakland Cabernet 2016 brand, $50 starting bid. You guys can get wine glasses that are Monica Lynn made 
that has the Forever Oakland logo and the 66 Mod logo. You guys can get all the, 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 the football that Joe T has donated. It's a $300 starting bid price. It's a Super Bowl 15 uh, football signed by Cook Ranch. You guys can get the football that Coop Snipe has uh, donated. That starting price is $500. That has 12 different signatures on it. So all those, all those items are still accessible. And we also want to encourage you guys. We want you to continue to become investors for Zany Station 2. For those of you who are investors, please keep investing when you can, because it's those little things that keep things going. And if you're not, if you're not in a position to invest at a certain time, spread the word to someone else. Say, hey, can you invest right now? If it's a dollar, if it's ten dollars, if it's fifty dollars, if it's a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, it all matters. It all counts. And what what we're wanting to do. As, as his guest on his show is generating energy that no other show in sports or public talk or charity has. Nobody has, it, it sounds crazy, it sounds crazy. No one has the elements that Zenny and I talk about. Because no one else does, no one else does that. No one does his research and no one is, is as deep into the process here in Oakland like I am. So you guys are getting some great stuff and that's why we're like, we post this show, getting out to the world, so the world sees what's really going on here. So yeah, all those items are still available. Yeah, you can, you can, go ahead. Oh no, you can keep going. Uh, you keep going. But basically, I mean, you contact Zenny62 and how to continue to be an investor. You contact the Greg Jones Facebook page, Mob Charities Facebook page, Forever Oakland Facebook page. To get any of those items, bidding items, what have you. Um, if you want to get wine glasses, we'll get them. We'll get them from Monica Lynn. We'll get it in your possession. We had some people get some wine, some wine glasses this weekend. We had some people, of course, continue to get their hats because we have our five game five promo this Saturday at the Ricky Henderson Field, the Oakland A's, to finish off our promo with Dave and Cavill and the Oakland A's, which we're excited about. We'll touch in a second. And we have this new Forever Open hat that's silver and black, which is the first Ooh. kind of the gray bill. Ooh. Look at the gray bill thing. Yes. Ooh. They usually mm. black girl. Mm. So these are going like hotcakes. And these are just little things that keep us going. But yeah, we have all those donational items accessible, available for you guys to make a bid on. Oh, by, by the way, I just want you guys to see this if you can. It's, I'm on my YouTube channel. It's kind of a glare, but all it is is you can actually watch the live stream. You don't have to be a subscriber. You just go to Zenny62 on YouTube. It says live now. Click on it. Tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your dog, tell your teacher, tell your ex-girlfriend, tell your current girlfriend, tell your next wife, tell everybody to watch Zenny 62 on Godfather Grizz on. Uh -huh. There you go. That's all you got to do. And just so you guys know, those auction items, when when you folks start purchasing those auction items, they're going to the Zenny 62 investment, just so you know. So Thank we you. have decided to channel that way because Zenny's platform has been such an integral part of assisting our citizen-driven initiative. So this is our way of helping fuel and keep his platform going. Hey, I want to say something on no. that. I want to so please, I want to thank, please, please support it. I want to thank everybody that's watched. Last weekend was incredible. I was at the Cal game, and Mark from Sacramento, never met the man before, never saw the man before. I made a video with him in it, stopped me and said, hey, you know, you probably get this all the time. But I just want to thank you for your videos. I watch your channel all the time. And that was at the Cal game. Then I go to the Raider game, of course. And people that I've never met before come up. I did meet in person, in the flesh. I got a video up there now. Thank you for the investment, Mr. Uh, Pajico. Uh, I, I made a, a video of myself con conversing with Mike Lowry. Mike Lowry, of all people. Mike Lowry. It's great to meet Mike Lowry who is uh, a great guy, a great guy. Mike Lowry is smooth. You know what? Mike Lowry should run for office. I'm telling you, Mike Lowry's got that it, that he's got that way about him with people, with the core of the community like you do. I mean, he's got that, he's got the, he's got the thing, you know? I think Mike Lowry ought to, ought to consider that. And I want to thank also just the scores of people. Like, I was on the train one day, and... This guy recognized me and just, you know, said, hey, I watch all your channels. And that was Monday. It's crazy. You know, I, I, it's like I, I can't get away with anything <laughs> if I wanted to. <laughs> but but and the other, hey, and, and here's the thing. Here, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. 
I can't on the I can't say how much currency it is to be known in that way where everybody knows you and it's like this built-in goodwill that I'm enjoying wherever I turn and uh, I can't thank everybody enough for just rewarding the work that I do by watching but then also taking the time to come up to me on the street and again people I've never met before in person and express that it's even happened in airports you know I was at the airport here in Atlanta a few months ago this guy getting on said hey are you Zinni 62 I just saw your United video and it's to the point where I know there are people who know who I am who don't say anything and they'll just sort of nod even Oakland police officers you know I was at the game I'm walking through West Side Club officer just smiles like that right you know I, I mean it's cool stuff it really is cool and and uh, you know it really is and I am right now, Barry Lee says I'm, at, I'm one shot reaching 35,600 subscribers, but more important to me, because I'm not so much, I am subscribed, I mean, my point is this, I am, let's see, according to this, I'm at, I am very close to, um, this is not, excuse me, I'm trying to get, I'm working this iPad here, it's not cooperating, there it is, okay, I am very close, folks, to, according to this, uh, yeah, I'm at 11,948 videos. 11,948. So, you know, Godfather, thank you, thank you. And, I'll, and over 71 million views. So I think that we should do something special for the 12,000th video. I don't know how we do it, but we got yeah. we got time, right? And, uh, yeah, something special. In other words... Maybe somebody guessed the twelve thousandth. Nah, that's not that's not fair because it could be anything, right? But or maybe a contest to have, you know, you and I come up with the twelve thousandth video, like a series, so that and then whoever and then maybe we reward people on the twelve thousandth video. We have a a surprise and you know tie it in everything that we're doing. We can talk about something like that because it's it's right 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 now. I'm at eleven thousand nine forty eight. I mean, I make I make between twin and twenty videos a day, so you have to figure out something really quick. I can pace myself. <laughs> that is awesome. Congratulations to you, man. Oh, thanks, thanks, thank you. I mean, this is. Hey, uh, if you, you know, can, real quick. Yeah. Um, we we'll take care of the notes. Let's go through your chat. I like going through your chat and seeing who's on there. So. Let's, oh yeah, Rick. Let's go. Miss, yeah, Rick. Name them off. Rick, and I want to say hi to him. Rick Rice says, "Hey, Zinny, can you ask Godfather if he was able to sit down one on one with Mark Davis?" What would he say to him to try to get him to stay in Oakland? That's from Rick Rice right now. I've already had that conversation with him, uh, Rick Rice. And it was a very emotional, heartfelt conversation in person. And that conversation continued a few other times on the phone. So um, that same spirit that I had, the conversation with Mark Davis, is the same spirit we're putting this citizen driven initiative. And when we cross paths again, the right time is for me to talk to. Eric Grubman, Roger Goodell, uh, Mark Bodine, Mark Davis, that will continue. And, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna define more and more each time we each time we cross that why they have to, because it's become more and more apparent that they should. So we're gonna stick to that premise. And uh, I'm gonna actually log in here on on the iPad to, to read them off better, so bear with me. Wow, that yeah. Wow. But, but, hey, to all your supporters out there, I want to I want to say some. Levant, Boss, mm -hmm. John Jones, Zenny, Coop Snipe, Joey from Fresno, all of our poor people, my boy Ray Bobbitt. Oh, John Jones gave you a push. shout out, by the way. Come again. John Jones just gave you a shout out. Shout out says thanks. Thanks for what's talking up? with him on What's up, Mr. Mayor Jonesy? Jonesy's my man. So I just want to take this time to let our viewers know our core group carries the highest level of respect and integrity of the open reader identity spirit. Mm -hmm. And not only is it a logical thing for us, it's like a tribunal thing for us mm -hmm. that we project outwardly. And this is that vibe that our municipalities are warming up to. It's that drive that's going to guide a municipality to get this to the next level. So to my core people, thank you. But also, as you go through your chat tonight, 
I just want to say hi to everybody. Whoever's out there, let's, let's call some names of the hell. Let's just say hi. Let's be like family um, when you're ready to get that going there, Denny. Oh, yeah. I'm actually doing that right now. Uh, I'm on, and now I'm doing it right now. I'm on this, um, but it's not the iPad version. I'm looking for the, uh, the uh, excuse me, I'm looking for the chat. But it doesn't come up on my iPad version like I had expected it to. It's a little weird. If, so, if uh, John Flint is in the room as well, John Flint, John, thank you for let me, all let, your let, me go, let me go back the other way, okay? Oh, here. Yeah, this, this all right. in there, man. Uh, Steve Collins, Dave Cardenas, who seems like he have a problem here. Um, Barry Lee, Steve Macy, okay. Steve Macy, and Frederico, thank you for the investment. Steve Macy says, on Raider Home Games, if we go to 66 Mob 10, is Grizz there for handshakes? Question you, Grizz. Um, and so... Oh, handshake conversation in the pictures and good food. Oh, Dave Cardenas... And always know there's a charity we're helping as well. Go ahead, Dave. Dave Cardenas has a funny story. He, said, he, he writes that he was ordered a hashtag F-U-C-K Vegas shirt. Let's see what happens when I uh, rep the shirt. They threatened to take away my season tickets with the, well, the F... The, the Raider owner's shirt, which I, I can't, I, I refuse to read just because I, you know, for reasons I've discussed. Um, Joseph Jones says, Zinni, can you tell the Dodd father thanks for accepting my friend request and taking time out of his day to talk to me and keeping me updated on mob events? I really appreciate it. And Barry Lee writes, thank tell you. Godfather yeah. Grizz, I said thank you for all he does. And Zinni, thank you also, sir. Or thank you also, sorry, he says, yeah, thank you, Barry Lee. And uh, let's see here. Crawford says, uh, well, let's see here. Oh, uh, I guess the officer liked Crawford's uh, uh, or a Dave Cardenas shirt. <laughs> and Crawford says that Larry Reed had Hussein Bolt speed at the JPA meeting. And Crawford says that UNLV is not going to the Pac-12, just put that to rest. And Dave Cardenas, nice to have him here. John Marks writes that he lives in Kelso, Washington, so he's traveling back to Oakland. That's, or rather, traveling back to Oakland is tight. And he will follow the conjunction by the end of the year. And that brings us to where we are right about now. And uh, anybody else have any other questions? And uh, boss for president, Grizz for mayor, Zinni for governor. Austin Nobrega is here. Hey, Austin. How you doing, man? God, Austin. The man who the man doesn't want to be on YouTube. What's up, Austin? You bringing your hitman, Mark? But actually, but I, the man I actually got on YouTube. <laughs> I made Austin hey. immortal. Austin will never die now because he has been interviewed on YouTube. <laughs> hey, he's one of our he's one of our core staff man that is consistent with supporting our cause, with reposting everything, being present. Austin, we love you, brother. And I just want you to, if you have a chance, um, we were graced Saturday night. We watched the Canelo Triple G fight. Oh, how we was that? How was that, man? How was that? Actually, I think the fight was good overall. It went the distance. They fought the whole time. Um, some people thought Triple G Fix. got a little more points. Um, and then they had a draw, so they're probably going to have another fight. But Fix. what was really intriguing, but not surprising, is toward the end, in rounds 11 and 12, one of our OPD, uh, uh, one of our good friends from Oakland Police Department, these two folks rolled up on Mob Valley with all the folks got out of their car and watched round 11 and round 12 with us. Whoa. And that's what we mean by identity, and that's what we mean by respect on Mob Valley. You don't get that anywhere. We have all these combined elements that make this special aura and the spirit of what we're fighting for. That's what it's all about. We were honored that they came by just to watch it with us. People were eating food. People had some alcohol. Everything was peaceful. We had kids out there, a bonfire. We had the surround sound with the TV. It was just phenomenal. And that's what Mob Valley is about. But that's what our Oakland Raiders identity is all about. So thanks to all the people that came out. It's good to know that Austin Newbrigg is in the chat. And so everybody that's in uh, Zanny's chat, please continue to come on to his show, support his show, become investors, because I smell blood. Remember, you heard this from me. I smell blood. We are taking on the unthinkable. We are taking on a task that nobody outside of the world thinks we're going to make it. But we believe, we have faith, because those people that are not part of it don't understand the spirit and the drive that we have. And believe me, the municipalities, 
regardless of how people view or not from the outside or inside, they're following our lead. So together, we're going to make this a reality. We'll keep it posted between now and October 20th. Um, and there's only one way, one direction this can go and it's forward. So we're excited about it because ultimately, we're addressing the NFL, we're addressing the Oakland Raiders, and we're addressing the political landscape to make Oakland better for everyone. I got a question, though. Do you think that fight yes. was fixed? I don't know if that fight fixed. And the reason is, is both guys went at it. I mean, I mean, if, if it's fixed, that means you have to take both boxers or, or one of them. And because when you're doing a, a, a all-out sport, say like football and or boxing, if you're going to fix it, man, you have to do it to perfection where people can't notice. Because if you have both guys who just know how to fight, go at it. It's, you have to make sure you how, how do you fix that thing? How do you pull them both aside? How do you, how do you say we're going to give you extra money if you guys go to the distance? Judges. To the judges. The judges. Right. And I'm not saying it's not. I mean, obviously, that this has happened in sports before, in the NBA, in the football, in boxing in particular. Mm -hmm. you got to remember, the mob was created in Vegas. The mob was created gambling years ago. They say it's more corporate now, but I'm sure that still exists. So, is it fixed? Maybe it was fixed. I will say the fight with the distance. It was it was not boring at all. Mm -hmm. These guys didn't start leaning you know, when when you get to the eighth, ninth round, sometimes fighters start leaning on each other too much. These guys hardly leaned on each other. You know, they're tired. So it was a pretty good fight and with the distance, um, it entertained everybody. I don't know if it was fiction or not, but it was a draw, so we'll probably bring on a second fight between them. Now, here's my other question. All right. Where is it that we're gonna have the next big Forever Oakland party and gathering between now and the 20th of October. The next Oakland Raiders home game, which is on Black Sunday, October 8th, we will be on Mob Valley Friday, October 6th, through October 8th, and I'm glad you brought that up, because you know what we're doing that weekend, remember, our, our viewing audience, every Raiders home game, we host a different charity. So, we kick off our tailgate on the 6th, Friday night, 7 p.m. to Black Sunday day. On Saturday night, we're asking all our supporters to get to Mob Valley at 6 p.m. for some Godfather Grizz and Chris Cook Snipe Gourmet. Chris mm. is one of our wonderful chefs. At 6 o'clock to 7.30 p.m., we're doing a walk for breast cancer from Mob Valley to our local radio image off of Hayden at 7.30 p.m. So that is going to be a huge weekend for any of our supporters that are in town. Remember, every home game we do charity. Every home game you'll see the best open letter identity exemplified in Mob Valley. And that weekend is our next big shindig of Make It Open Better with our Walk for Breast Cancer, 7.30 p.m. and on, Saturday night, October 7th, from Mob Valley, all the way to Image. We did that last year. It was spectacular. And we may add a little twist to that walk. That means more than just breast cancer. But right now we're just saying breast cancer because that's where it starts. That's that's the charity we're helping that weekend. So for those of you who want to come to town and be part of that, our target starts Friday night, 7 p.m. and on, October 6th, goes to Black Sunday, October 8th, but Saturday night, October 7th, 6 p.m. We're feeding everybody, 7.30 p.m. We do our walk for breast cancer. Now, for those of you I think had asked, this is a... Uh... That is, if you can see that, that's my website. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's the, the, that click through for some reason is not working. Um, but if you go to Google and you type Coliseum, uh, for some reason this is being wiggy, uh, Coliseum Reboot in Google, the first result is my website, my stadium plan, because Frederico had actually mentioned the stadium plan and asked about taking a second look, and I didn't know if he realized that there's a website. If you just go to Google and type Coliseum Reboot, there, it's the first result, okay? So um, just wanted to get that out there. Thank you for the shout-out, Frederico, for, uh, if you're talking about the stadium issue. Now, I, John Marks is Coliseum. By, by the way, mm -hmm. the, ad, yeah, the address to Mall Valley, so you guys know, if you haven't been there, because it's, it's, it's so natural for us to throw it out there at the corner of 667 Coliseum Way, yeah. which is across the street from the 667 entrance. But the exact numerical address is 559 66 Avenue, Oakland, California 94621. 559 66 Avenue, Oakland, California 94621. 
We are right in front of the K upholstery and Sherman Williams paint store. You cannot miss us. We have our canopies and our Forever Oakland Make Oakland Better plus charitable banners in full display. When you turn that corner, you'll see TVs on. If it's, you'll see privacy smoke. It's directly across the street from the 667 entrance. You can't miss us. And if we need to get that information onto the Zenny Show so you can get it on his website, we'll be more than happy to. Oh, yeah. Hey, so also, what did you think of the Raiders? What did you think of Marshawn Lynch dancing? I know you were at the game, but, you know, you saw that. You saw what I was talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, here, here's the thing, man. Everyone knows my perspective on X and O's right now, but I'll, I'll give my perspective. Um, work because I have a different stance with the NFL boy cat and all that stuff. But football wise, I mean, I said this after watching the first game last week against Tennessee, and this is reality. Regardless of what I like or don't like, reality. This this Oakland Raiders team is a much better team. Offensively, they're just more crisp. And what you notice, and, and I'll get to Marshawn Lynch in a second. What I noticed in the first game on the road against Tennessee and the second game, if you guys remember last year. We won a lot of close games, which is awesome. That's how you build a winner. You learn the mental stamina of winning close games. That's big. Part of the reason why those games are close last year is our offense was dominant, but our, our play calling got conservative in the second half if we had a three or seven point lead. And we can't, right now, what you see these guys doing, they're keeping the pedal to the metal and running it up. There's no conservative play. There's no we're going to slow down. And, and now they're a year together more with Marshawn Lynch added, with Patterson added, that receiver. Um, so this team is lethal offensively. And, and Marshawn Lynch, that's just Marshawn Lynch. He's celebrating Oakland. He's celebrating being an Oakland Raider. That's just what he does. He's been that way. That's who he is. I don't read a lot into it. I don't think of it bad. I don't think of it good. And let me tell you something. As long as you're playing well on the field, people are not going to be complaining. But I'm telling you, man, that will never are... happen in Las Vegas. You hear me? That will never happen in Las Vegas. That is uniquely <laughs> Oakland. People in Oakland respond to that because that's Oakland. So, yeah. I mean, that's well, you guys have seen I want to touch on something else, too. Are you noticing, folks, how the Rams and the Chargers are not selling out? They're having problems with attendance. That's right. NFL, you have made huge mistakes with the relocation process. Mm -hmm. With those, those two, two teams in the same area you're from, what do you think Vegas is going to be like? Is it being worse? Yep. The NFL, listen loud and clear. Listen loud and clear. Because it goes by Mark Davis. Your healthiest choice in California, right now the Niners are at a look. Oh, they don't, they don't have hardly people coming. The Rams, they're having hardly people coming. The Chargers, your healthiest dose of energy in California is Oakland. That's right. And, and you want to unplug that? That's and you're correct. going to have the same results? It's crazy. In a different state? Crazy. That you're having in Southern California? Are you out of your mind? Crazy. This is why we're fighting for the people. This crazy. team that is here now, and just so you guys know, which has been mentioned, they're asking for more time. There's a reason for that. We're going to strike, baby, because mm -hmm. the open meters who are going to have the land to themselves, the A's are moving off site to any cause. This is where they belong. Mm -hmm. So please, for any community out there, it can be a thought. Look what's happened in Southern California as a result of the NFL's arrogance and greed. Yeah. And if you want to make your most money and get the best, Keep the team in Oakland in one of the richest markets for the long term because this is people power driven. We're going to make you all kinds of money. We sold that we're 0 and 10. We sold that we're 7 and 9. We're 12 and 4 last year. We're 2 and 0. That atmosphere is lit up. What is wrong with you, NFL? Well, we're going to expose what's wrong with you. We're not just going to talk about it. We're not just going to wear shirts or do social media posts. My organization, we're doing something about it. And that's where we're encouraging all of you. Get behind us, man. I smell blood. And, and we're going to keep leading these politicians, regardless of how slow they've been in the past, regardless of how people criticize them. They follow our spirit. We're going to win this thing, doggone it, because the Oakland Raiders identity needs to stay here as well as this football team. Did you... Uh, here were the. That's so good. That's so. Yeah, I, I, yeah, man. yeah, man. Did you hear where the mayor of L.A. actually even 
felt that it should just be for the Rams. And he basically said that and, uh, uh, to the media that he uh, the, he basically doused water on the whole idea of the Rams and the Chargers sell, sharing stadiums and being in the same region. <laughs> That's the mayor, man. The mayor. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, uh, because because we want as, uh, as, as Bow says right here, LA has too much to do. They just needed just the Rams. Go ahead, hey, Godfather. As, as 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 we want this show, we always want kids and people of all ages to watch. So I'm not going to curse, but down there and it's the NFL. It's a cluster fudge. They created I like a that. cluster I like fudge. That. I like Look, that. And find you National Football League. Mm -hmm. Look at Jerry Jones' greed. Look at the mentality. Where are you guys going? You're slipping. You are definitely making so many mistakes. Man, and you have a way out. Keep the Raiders in Oakland. That's yep. your healthiest choice. That's it. Hey, not only that, I got another idea. They should just simply swap out the LA Chargers for USC. I mean, that would solve... There's Southern California tennis problems. Just make USC part of the National Football League and let that be done. But, but you know, the, college teams are, are, the college teams that are a bigger hit. Yeah. It's just the culture. And then, so, so, so here's, here's the thing. And then whoever was at Boston, there's too much thing to do. The NFL is getting away from what built it. Remember you, you quoted Jerry Jones at his Hall of Fame speech saying, 7% of what it is, the fans are only 7%. He said, I mean, he said that only 7% like of NFL fans are ticket holders. You are ticket yeah, holders. Yeah, you're and it was a big mistake. All the people that built the NFL, yep. you just remember, NFL was built on blue collar. It was built on hard all across the United States, especially in these blue collar uh, towns like Oakland, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Green Bay, Cleveland. It's the people that represent that location. It's not the TV networks. It's not the suites, the Jerry Jones legends that built football. Football, you can't change the spirit of it. It's blue collar gritty. That's the sport. We have we have many young men of every descent, African American, oh, hey, Caucasian. James that, Santos. James Santos. Thank you for the investment. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Grigas. Yeah. No, no, hey, oh, by the no, way, no, no, no. by the way, that, this is double shares night. So, Mr. Santos, you get double the shares. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job, Santos. Thank you. I was going to say, remember these, these people that play in the sport? A lot of them come from broken homes, man. Mm -hmm. yep. They come from rough neighborhoods. They come from poverty. They're homeless. They, they found a way out. They did it themselves at a young age. Some have parents that died due to mm -hmm. drug use or, or, or shot. And these, so, so a lot of the people that play in the NFL, they come from hard areas. Yep. It's a tough sport. And the NFL elite is, is, is slowly trying to get away from its own fabric. Yep. It's like Rome did. And when you start doing that, you start falling apart. And here in Oakland, the new era, because I was raised by the 1960 Oakland Raider identity, folks. The new era for Oakland, we are old school. We understand the new stuff. We're old school, and we have to remind everybody, not just the NFL, but the world at large, it's all about the community. That's it's right. All about it's all about the community. So we're going to bring these NFL owners back to reality and realize that you keep it where it belongs, and it's going to make you all the money, and it's going to be eternal because it does it itself. You can't fabricate it. It's not just through the network. And right here, you have the mm -hmm. best location football, the best transportation, fifth largest media market, with our fan base in San Leandro, San Lorenzo, Alameda, Castro Valley, and Oakland? Are you kidding me? Hey, go ahead, Zinni. Quick thank you to Karen Christensen and Federico Pacheco has a question. To Godfather or Zinni, is it possible for, like, a, a team, a lot, well, let me try this again. Federico writes, is it possible for another team like the Rams to go to Las Vegas and the Raiders stay in Oakland? Not the Rams. No, because the Rams are already further along in their construction. They don't have any other problems than the delay. So the Rams <laughs> would be basically... The Rams, let me put it this way. Let me finish. The Rams would be screwing their own yeah. bankers, okay? That would be a ridiculous thing to do. So now, is it possible for a team like the um, Jacksonville Jaguars to go? Sure. Let me put it this way, okay? That is changeable. If you read the Las Vegas and 
the Nevada law called the Southern Nevada Tourism and Investment Act. It reads NFL team. It does not read the Raiders. That could be any team. Any team. So there is an answer to your question. Oh, and by the way, I want to respond to an article that was sent to me that was written on CNS, that's, what's it, C, whatever it is, CSN, whatever. I don't care. That article was actually directed at me. I got a rebuttal. Just letting you all know. But I'm not going to name the person that wrote it, but I'm going to rebut. Because that person who wrote that article about how their snags are not roadblocks in Davis has no idea, excuse me, in Las Vegas, has no idea what they're writing about. I mean, zero. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. You know? What the <laughs> this is how we roll, man. That's right. So uh, basically, um, I know, boss, I have, well, hold on a second, boss. I'm not gonna say. Sorry, I ain't gonna do it. No, unless no, I'm, no, I'll, I'll make you. I'll basically, make you a deal, boss. You go and you tell him on Twitter that I'm right and he's wrong. You tell him all that on Twitter, and then I'll mention it. How's that? But that's gotta be you. All right. Okay, sorry about that. Go ahead, Godfather. <laughs> don't don't apologize. So so what what we're what we're what this show, this platform, then and I come together. Hey, good night, Barry Lee. Thank you. Very strong, by the way. Barry Lee, thank you for everything. Yeah, and God bless you for surviving, man. That was horrible weather. Glad you're with us. You survived. Yeah. You survived Hurricane you Harvey. Stop. You survived Hurricane Harvey. Okay. Mm -hmm. God bless you, Barry. Yeah. Now you were so, saying, Godfather. So basically, this platform, you're not going to get the combined elements of Zenny and Godfather in, in shedding light. And it's a light. I said this, it, I remember we were at the plane one or two shows ago. Yep. I, we get spiritual. And as you were walk, as you walked away, Zenny, I'm gonna bring us back to spirituality, and I'll get back to it. Um, we did mention that Grandma Carmen Sanchez did pass away on Saturday. Yes. We oh. thanked everybody oh. when you stepped away. Yeah, we thanked everybody for their continued prayers, for all their warm air, because you know what? It's it's hard on Monica. Regardless of how old she is, regardless of how long of a life she lived, which is 95 years old, she had a very good life, and she was ready to go. Mm. Um, the body language aura. So, so continue prayers for Monica and her family to heal and missing the grandma, knowing Grandma Carmen is going to be a guardian angel right there for Monica Lynn. So give back to the spirituality aspect, and thank you, everybody, but continue to pray for Monica and her family for healing. Um, there's life force and dark forces building up right now. Mm -hmm. We mentioned this on your last show. This is just one of my little spiritual perspectives. And you're seeing the weather changes. You're hearing about the earthquakes. We're, we're, we're seeing some people are dealing with a lot of funky things right now. Unfortunately. And there's some people who are, are in an okay position. But what we're encouraging all of you to do is whatever situation you're in, gravitate toward whatever that light is inside of you. Because it's different for everybody. Because Go ahead. Uh, Boss has a question. Zinni and Greer, your thoughts on protests about the A's preferred site? Uh, I'll, here's my thought. And hey, Ray Hernandez, welcome. You're just breaking in. What's going on with Ray? Okay, uh, I'll get to that question in a second, but I'm going to go with the, with the bosses right now. Dave Cavill made a mistake by not including the citizenry outside of those who attended the focus group early on. And that's what's coming about here. Be so my thought on the preferred site is that I'm still reading it as something where, and i got to review how the A's lost the court case to see if this sticks. But the bottom line is that, is that you've got, um, the bottom line is that it seems to me that He's trying to make it, he being Dave Cowell, the A's president, is trying to make it as hard as he possibly can to get a deal done in Oakland. Maybe thinking that, okay, if I don't get this done here, it then opens up the path to relocation someplace else, all right? That's what it seems like to me. And I want Dave Cowell to come out and say, no, 
we have no intention of relocating the ace. If he says that, I'm fine. But right now, as far as I'm concerned, the specter of relocation is right on the table. And because there's no other way to explain why he would take such a hard road uh, and, the, and do it the way that he's done. I've been the path of this Laney College proposal before. I'm not saying that it's all bad. It's not. I'm, in fact, let me clarify something. I want this understood. I'm only talking about the political difficulty of it. Am I saying it's not exciting? No, it's very exciting. Okay? It's very exciting. All right? Now, Vaus says Cloudwell is not re recruited, really locating, but uh, I want to hear his words. I don't want you yeah, please, telling me that. Give, I'll give my perspective in a second. Okay. I'll give yeah, my perspective. Thanks. I want to hear that from Dave Cobble. I, want to, I don't want that out of his mouth. I want him to tell me I'm not relocating the A's. Okay? Yeah. Period. And I, I don't care how... I don't care how mad he gets if I ask the question. It's kind of like The Godfather, right? Remember, the, remember? Hey, this is great, Grizz. The like, Godfather. Remember, you watched The Godfather. I've watched The Godfather forty-seven times. All right. And the, one of the tricks in The Godfather was if if you ask him, I think uh, Vito Corleone was saying, you know, ask Barzini um, what your intentions are. Or he's going to ask you what your intentions are. You get offended, okay? Get offended. So basically, if Cobble gets offended, what that tells me is, hey, you know what? If he's offended, that means that I'm right, okay? That he is thinking about relocation. Because if that, person, if, that, if that person argues vehemently against what they're going to do in politics, that's a sheer sign they're thinking about doing just that thing. That's the whole lesson of the Godfather. But it's true. Go ahead, Godfather Chris. <laughs> okay, here's, here, here's my perspective. First, I think the why, this is my perspective. I think it's wise what David Cavill do, and I'll tell you why. The majority of the JPA politicians want him to stay on the Coliseum site, not for the greater good of Oakland, just for the greater good to keep money coming. And that the current stadium isn't built for baseball, and this year, when who grew up watching my Oakland A's and Oakland Raiders at that site. I love nothing better for in a perfect world that both teams can share it. But in this day and age, they obviously, they football can't. needs its own stadium, baseball needs its own stadium. Right. Right. So, in my opinion, and he did talk to a lot of citizens, he talked to me as well and some others, and I don't think David Cavill would be offended, so I, I, I encourage you to go ask him. David Cavill is a stand-up kind of guy. Mm -hmm. So, him moving off the site was, I, I think he's doing what made and for Oakland in general and I think that he did it in spite of what the politicians wanted because what the politicians wanted in my opinion wasn't the greater good of Oakland and wasn't the greater good but, of Oakland. But I want you to understand. Now that he's going right. to be moving off. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Right. I'm almost done. Okay. Now he's been moving off. This gives us the opportunity to create the catchers of to create the safety net for Oakland Raiders football the identity. That's my take. All right. Here's my point. I'm not talking about staying at the Coliseum. I'm not even talking about selecting Howard Terminal. What I'm talking about goes back to the example that I gave about 1997. It's how you do it. You understand what I'm getting at? What I mean by that is this. Before you make your site selection, you get the people that are in each area of consideration lined up into a task force for that area and then you survey and pitch them about what you want to do because then you're aware of the obstacles that they're going to put up and then you can hammer out a mitigation before you say that is where I'm going. Dave Cavill made a critical error in judgment in not doing that. He did not set up his version of an Oakland downtown coalition okay now he's trying to do it bass backward what he made is a critical error in judgment if you say hey relocation is not in the cards okay then I have to you know go to my other page and say well if relocation is not the cards and this is not some sort of you know wily dastardly effort the next conclusion I have to come to is worse. He made a critical political error. 
Again, I'm not saying Laney College is a bad site. Quite the contrary. It's an attractive site. It's also expensive. Why? Because you've got businesses there that you have to relocate. You've got ball fields that are used by the college that have to be replicated, and that's going to cost a ton of money. And believe me, we've been through this before. And then Cobble, after the fact, then said, hey, in his email letter, he mentioned a project, a kind of redevelopment program that I actually am the one that informed him the existence of because prior to my conversation with him, he was under the impression that redevelopment couldn't be used at all. I proved him wrong. But you can't then turn around and say, I want to use the enhanced development zone program in the city of Oakland or the state of, Cal of, of the state of California in Oakland as a part of the process of getting political buy-in. That's bass awkward. He made a critical error in judgment. That is what, you understand what I'm saying? It's not the site. It's the approach. I'm going to tell you what No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay? Uh, I, hear, I hear what you're saying. All right. It's not critical of the site. It's the process. It's a big difference. I, then it, it's a big difference. You're, 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 you, made, you, you define the process. It's not a disagreement or agreement. I'm letting you know what he shared with me directly and he shared with others. He understands oh, let me finish. The, the process of going there is going to cost more money there's, there's things that are not lined up yet, like Jody has the call team. He understands that process. So, so what you're defining, I'm not, hold on. No, he's made a, he made a critical error. Not, 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 let me finish. I didn't think he'd understand your process. No, it's not my process. <laughs> it's the way things are done in Oakland. He made a mistake. Let it's me, not let my me, process. Then he, I got I to gotta finish talking. It's like Las Vegas. I know how the, you know, yeah. like Steve Wynn says, hey, business then is done he, a certain way. I'm arguing with you. Yeah, let me finish. Yeah, I'm arguing with you're, you. You're not, I'm stirring okay, up the ranks. Let me finish. I'll let you finish. All right, finish. You're not letting me finish. I am finished. Okay, finish. So finish. All I'm saying to you is, I understand. I understand what you're defining. I, I understand it, and I'm not saying that he made an error or not in that light. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, what I know. I, I know he understands that it's going to cost more money. To, to make that type of move to build these different businesses. So, and I, obviously, I, I think they will have success. And I'm behind 120%. That's not my point. And by the way, Corbett and TI, you guys are off. You guys, you guys, are, you guys are. No, no, I'm, talk, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking, right, right. My point is, Corbett and TI, how are you guys out of line? All right. First of all, listen to what I'm saying. And don't ever tell me to shut up again or I'll, I'll block you. Okay? And I mean it. This who's is what I. I have a couple of these knuckleheads online here. It's just, you know, just, uh, right. I, and I want you guys to listen to this. If you're going to be here, I want you to get smart. I'm not putting up with this crap. What I'm talking about is this. There's a way things get done in development. There's a process. And I don't care that some, who's, who's, who's with that rapping? Is that you? Who's that? Okay. Anyway, my point is this. All right. This is to Howard. And this is to you guys, okay? Not you guys, okay? And my point is this, okay? I understand. I understand. All, right, all right, and my point is this. And no Rick Rice is no timeout. I want you to listen to me or get out. I'm be, I mean it. I mean it. Okay? Because I'm tired of this. This is not a matter of a, a like or dislike for a site. Or who I like personally. It's about how things are done in terms of getting a development through so it can be passed. I have lived with this problem for almost a generation. When I first got involved in this, some of you were kids. You hear what I'm saying? Kids. Some of you were in kindergarten. A few of you weren't even born yet. So I'm not going to say, give me a break. Listen or get out. I'm telling you that when you are developing something, when you're developing a structure, when you want to get your permit process through, you develop a group of citizens before you announce it to make sure that you've got all your political ducks in a row. The president of the Oakland Athletics did not do that. It's one thing that he talked to you. Great, he made you feel good and all that. He reached out to you because he's the president. Yahoo! 
I'm talking about getting a development deal done. And right now, from that perspective, his chances are wanting because of it. It's it's look, it's fixable. It's certainly fixable, but it's a gigantic mistake. And, and, and let, me, let me add to what you're saying. Let me add to what you're saying. Just so you know, I mean, this is my personal opinion, and you know, we talk very consistent. If some of your supporters, unless, unless they're being rude, they were being rude. Okay. See, there's one thing to me, because I'm not seeing the chat. It's one thing to have a different opinion, and then, you know, to let people have different opinions, but if someone's being rude, regardless, regardless of how much you know, Denny, and you know a lot, and, and I know a lot. I may have people disagree with me, but I'm not going to force them to listen to me unless they're, now if they're being rude to me, that, that has nothing to do with what I'm trying to describe. Being rude is different than if they believe me. They don't have to agree with me. So if you're saying they're being rude to you, great. But if, if some people are not agreeing with you, that's just some people not agree with you. That's yeah, but, all I'm saying. Well, well, well Grizz, here's a person, and this is what gets me upset. A person has to know what they're disagreeing with before they disagree. A lot of people don't even know, okay? So my point is this. Well, here's my point, okay? A lot of people in today's society don't want to listen. Or they want to listen to a certain cadence, a voice coming off a certain way, okay? That's anti-intellectual. And I will bash that, you know, firmly with my fist through the wall. I am tired of this crap. I want the society to think again. And my point okay. is this, and all I'm saying is this. It is not against Dave Cobble. The reason why I'm so hard about this is people say, well, he doesn't like Dave Cobble. Not true. Not true. Or he doesn't like the site. Not true. I'm talking about how you get development deals through. I'm talking about how they should be done. And all I'm saying is he made a critical mistake. No, and, and guess what? That's it. You, and and, and you, you have a background in understanding that. And, 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 and I, I, think, I think for you, just let people know that is good. Now, if people agree with it, if they don't know what they're agreeing upon, right. you can challenge them. Right. But, but I mean... Right, see, a lot of people don't know, don't, don't, because, don't, because don't right, push, a lot of people don't know, because, yeah, because you, you don't right. want to push people away, is what I'm saying. Well, sometimes, no, but, but there are some times we, look, I'm not going to, I'm going to be myself, though, okay, no, if, no, a person, I, if a person you know doesn't, no, no, I always want to that's right, that's right, <laughs> if a person doesn't want to deal with me because they don't like that, you know, hasta la vista, baby, my point is this, okay, I'm going to be myself. <clears throat> you got to be yourself. All right, you and this is, yourself. and my point is this. Me aside, I am talking about how development deals are done. And the way he did it was wrong. He made a critical error. That is what okay. I'm talking about. You that is made it. your point. That's I'm it. just saying, in the light of everything, you make your point, we keep on going. So. Right. Now, the question is, how do we help him fix it? Because I want this, the A's to succeed. You want the A's to succeed. We all do. So how do we help him fix it? There was a rally today, as we talked about, Boss and I, about how Gene Kwan's daughter may run against Abel Guillen. Abel Guillen is the current Oakland City Council District 2 council member, okay? Now, the you know, she hasn't filed yet. And she's now, I like Gene's daughter. She's a great lady. Um, but my point is that what we don't want to see happen as a group and this is where we can fashion a kind of political action committee of our, of our own. Well, yes. All right. Is that, and this is where I think our power can be expanded. Okay, Godfather? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. All right. We have to, and I'm not saying I, I've got the answer right here now and in detail. Right. We have to fashion an approach that helps the athletics get what they want that's obviously in the best interest of the city of Oakland, yes. and not destroy this, because right now the the clouds of destruction are large and dark, and they're only going to get worse. Well, I think I think I think you know how we roll. We have we have we believe everything we put our energy into, and 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 we come up with answers by communicating. Remember, like you said, we don't have an exact answer. We'll find an answer because we we'll always find a way. And, and I think that what you just described, if you think that idea can be of assistance to David Cavill, I know he'll listen to us. Yeah. So what we need to fathom, because we want to help the Oakland A's get to the location so we can have our safety net for the Oakland Raiders. What I'm saying is we, we create that, we fathom that. 
to start putting that together. Because, like I said, our citizen-driven initiative is dealing with the NFL, the Open Raiders, and the political landscape all around. Right. To make Oakland better forever. So we'll address whatever needs possible and come up with the idea for that. So let's run with that idea and let's put it together. Hey, digression. Monica is in the house. Hey, Monica, how you doing? Welcome. Let's 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 uh, let's remind Monica. Uh, she, did she just jump in? Yes. Well, a few minutes ago. Let's, yeah. let's let's take a moment to remind Monica that we kicked off the show um, in honor of Rama Carmen Sanchez. Uh, in honor of her passing, uh, in honor of all the people who've been praying, pouring energy into this process of her healing and her next step process, and the continued prayers for you, Monica, my lovely, and your family uh, for, for your grieving process. So this whole show was started that way. We reminded everybody of that. We'll continue. Our show. So we thank everybody, Monica, and thank you for coming in because this is a spirit-driven show. Yeah, Monica, and um, blessings, and God bless uh, you for what you had to, uh, for your mom and your uh, your time with her, and this this life, and also the next. You know, so absolutely. Hey, since since she just walked in, honey, if you're listening clearly, we're gonna take ten to twenty seconds. Then and I will lead it. Let's just, just put some good energy into Grandma Carmen Sanchez and prayers for Monica and her family. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say open prayer. Uh, oh, dear Lord, first of all, bless Monica and her family for the lives that they have lived and all that they have enjoyed with her mother and bless her in the next life and bless Monica in this one and the next as well and thank everyone for their prayers and love and support and with Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen. And, and it continues to that. We want to thank Grandma Carmen Ch Sanchez for showing us how, how precious life is. We want to thank Monica for being an angel to her grandmother more than anybody. And just assure you, Monica, my love, that Grandma Carmen Sanchez is going to be right next to you every step of the way. She'll be your guardian angel. She's looking down on you now, concerned about your hurt emotions, your family's hurt emotions, wanting you to heal as well at, at your proper time. And then myself, our platform, all mob family, everybody around this process is going to assist in that process. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Thank you for all our supporters for that moment. And, honey, I hope you're absorbing this. And hopefully you can stay. I've got about another seven to ten minutes, Danny. So I got an let's, idea. Let's uh, continue this thing going. I got an idea. we got to reestablish the Oakland Sports Forum. And the Oakland Sports Forum, that's right, you weren't. You weren't at our great event. But in 2014, we had 14 of the 15 mayoral candidates together to talk about sports, the future of sports in Oakland. I was there. You were there. Okay. Wait a minute. You sure as hell were. And this, this, was, this is this you, Chris Dobbins, held it. This yep. is when Libby was just coming up because Jerry Brown endorsed her. Go ahead. That's right. And everybody it was a great turnout, wasn't it? Hey, you know what? I'm surprised your, your memory forgot that. I get more barbecue smoke coming through my head, and I still remembered it. Continue. <laughs> all that great hair you have on there. Look at all that great hair in your head. Go ahead. Hey, yeah, and uh, <laughs> Brian Cowles, Brian was there. And came, you guys you guys sat in the whole group on the other side. That's right. You sat on the second. Yeah. You sat on the first I tier. Just, I, I you just were got back from London, England. Right, right, right. You sat in the middle. Right. And I was, uh, and Sam Washington was giving me crap because he showed up late. <laughs> Uh, that was great. Uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, we had at the Lakeshore Baptist Church, the whole church, and we had pizza, and we had a great turnout of 80 people, all things considered. That happened to be game, forgot? game 7. You, you forgot but, that I got there early... Introduced myself and you like Brian. Oh, that's Taylor. right. You don't oh, geez, that. Louise. Oh, I did forget that. Oh, I man. said, I'm the Jehovah's Godfather. And you said, Oh, you're yeah, the Godfather. Right. Nice to I meet did you. Say that. And in the typical yeah. Godfather fashion, my head's not big. I said, How can I help? And you he said, Hey, let's go grab some tables. And you guys started setting up the table. Oh, you sure did. And thank, thank you for that. Penny. 
yeah, and not only that, I'm, and not only that, I think that's on. You know what? You you know what? It's also on video. <laughs> So hey, no, you did, you did. We always offer a helping hand. Continue. No, that that you did, and I couldn't have done it without you because you helped set up. That, that's it, man. Thank you. We did it together. That's right. Yeah, no, that was that was awesome. And what did you get out of that? Because I thought that was who. Who did you think the winner was that night? Of all oh, the mayor you know candidates. What? Here's here's what I thought that night. I wasn't sure. Because Libby put on the Barbie doll type of coming out of the box, twinkle, twinkle, little star. I'm from the <laughs> Oakland Hills, who cool you are, right? She came out as a cheerleader. Hey, hold on. Hey, there. I was paying attention. I was shaking my head a little bit. And you know what I felt oh, bad about? Oh, my gosh. Well, I, I, she did. I felt bad about Jean Kwan. I'll tell you why. As much as I respect Jean, and then I have our agreement and disagreement, she looked burnt. She just looked burned out that day. Mm -hmm. um, she looked tired. And it, it, it didn't take away. I, I, I felt like, unfortunately, someone was going to beat her because she looked burnt. But I, I have to say, regard, she's not the best communicator, but she's one of the smarter. She's definitely right. one of the more intelligent. She's way more intelligent than Libby. we got to give that. Well, Jean's and problem, she has, though, is she that... She has more of a committed, commitment to getting things done for the Raiders than Libby ever did. But uh, so I, I, I saw that the, former, the current mayor at the time looked tired. Mm -hmm. I knew someone was going to upset her. I didn't know it would be Libby. I mean, she came over a twinkle box, right? She came over a twinkle. I'm, I'm an Oakland girl, and there's a few other candidates. But uh, I saw her cheerleader. I, I saw her. She was kind of fake. You know, that was my, that was my take. But I didn't know who was going to come out of it that day. I didn't know. Now, also, hey, by the way, some military side. Uh, Bill McKinley, it was uh, Rob Bonta. Bosses informed uh, Rob Bonta of his, about who that was. That's his answer question. Now, as far as that, you know, I think I'm going to dig up those videos and rerun them again. I thought... Gene, I, I thought, actually, I'll tell you who I thought did the best job was Brian Parker. And I thought, yeah, I thought yeah, I thought Brian had the best approach. I thought it was the most reason. Uh, Libby had come off. She, Libby said some things that if you wanted to actually hold it against her in terms of what she's not doing, you can run the video. Okay. Because she said the right things in terms of getting hold. You know what she said during that time, among other things? She said well, she you would. Forgot, you, you forgot that I helped you, so hopefully you can remember what you said. Go ahead. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. I'm, I'm a, okay, right, right, right. I, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I just had to get you. All right, all right. That's all right, Curly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you look like more Curly than I do. Yeah, I'm but I'm proud of it though. I'm yeah, I'm proud of it. Yeah, I'm proud of it. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, we're talking about, we're talking about Mo, Larry, and Curly Joe from Three Stooges. All right. Two of which are, two, two, two. You ever go to Napa? Two of which are sitting Davis, here. Make sure you play the the Three Stooges song. Go wow, 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 wow. You want to see him turn his head? I'm not gonna own that. Oh God, I'm not gonna own that one. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, all right. Libby had swore that she would sue the Warriors if they tried to move. She said that on camera. She said that. So here come the Warriors. She didn't file a lawsuit. You're concerned about the sixty million dollar debt thingy from her. Right, but she said that though. She yeah. said she said I I will get I will talk to my lawyers and I will sue them. That's on camera. Okay. The the mayor shaft that came off at the forum is not the mayor shaft that we got. And there's a lot that you can go in there and those videos and watch and they're long videos and get that. Well, um, I mean how do you know? Where she's at now, she's in a bad spot, man. She's got a lot of fires on her now. Go ahead. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. It's sad. I, I it's cheerfully sad given our relationship. That's why. But, that's why. Hey, we're not having her take lead in the citizen-driven initiative. Continue. And you know, it, it's unfortunate, but we are in an election year, and that's going to complicate a lot of things. So, um, but my point is that. Well, I got my digression, sorry, I, but I digress. T-shirt, but we should revive that forum, but have it focused on the A's. And you know what? Well, take the Here, no, oh, 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 oh. Here's the right. here, okay? And then, and Boss, are you still there? Boss, give me a, a thumbs up or something. You there? Oh, Boss. 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 Boss, you there? Cool. All right. Here's the guy's attention. My idea is to have 
an Oakland sports forum, but focused on the A's issue exclusively. You can have every candidate that's running, including District, right? District 2, Abel, and Jean. Jean's daughter, rather. And so, right? But not only that, we have the community groups there. We have Carl Chan. And we talk about the site and how to make it happen. And we flesh all the issues out right there in one form. That would do a lot. I well, here's, here's a, I'll add to that real quick. And I think any concept like that's great, especially mm -hmm. pertaining to open sports, because you have to make sure you have sports minded people guiding these politicians and business minded people. Yep. Um, leading up to and after the conditional relocation vote, and this is running parallel with what you're saying, uh, I've encouraged our cheerleaders, McKibben, Nate Miley, and Noel Gallo, to create what's called the Mob Task Force, Make Open Better Task Force, to be like a voice. Uh, with this process with the Raiders in the NFL, mm -hmm. um, oh, and hey. we created safety net. So, good night, Frederico. Yeah. Hey, good. Hey, have a good night, Frederico. So, so the concept of having uh, an entity like that serve in that capacity is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, so I think that the Mob Task Force can serve in that. Uh, I think we could create something that's open A specific. I think it's wonderful. And Bal says, well, Taj Tahombe, who's the community outreach director for the athletics basically told him that they will need people like him in those types of meetings. And, hey, you uh, know what I just want to say? Congratulations hey, to Hey, well, Scott, thank you for the investment. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. congratulations to your boss. Uh, you know, he and I had a conversation a couple months ago after the relocation uh, without getting too deep, and, and everyone's feelings were very sensitive. Everyone had a different direction, how they had to deal with sports, but I just... And this is his own doing, this ain't my doing, but boss, remember this. Uh, I encouraged him to keep that connection with President David Cavill and the Oakland A's because they love him. They love his energy. They love, they love what Boston bodies. And I, and I think there's doors there for him because he's an Oakland Raider identity number one. That's his main thing. But there's doors there for him because he has a something, that little something special to offer them. So, boss, congratulations on that relationship you guys have with him. Yep. And keep that going, man. You know your godfather, your uncle, always encourages that. Yeah, there you go. That enough said. Hey, so it's uh, now uh, 102 here. What say you? Hey, let's just say, um, once again, if we leave this conversation, Zenny, thank you for everything. It was great having you in Oakland. Mob ballot this past weekend. Best exemplified to our worldwide being honest what the open river identity is about all the combined items and we smell blood we needed something last friday from the jp meeting to move forward regardless of the approval regardless of the recommendation regardless if they need another piece of information to ask for that they're getting this week from the lawyers we need to move forward because they are warming up to it and and the thing is is for this intangible to take place you have to have faith you have to move forward. You have to be super intelligent and carry our type of heart and spirituality. I firmly believe this thing can get over the top. We have to continue to lead these current municipalities, no matter where they're at, to this next step level. So we have the best opportunity for courts to deal with our open areas identity the same way the Supreme Court dealt with the open A state in Oakland. I'm firmly behind it on 20%. And we'll keep you guys posted. Now, folks, also stay tuned. On Thursday afternoon, which is Thursday evening here in the East, I will be launching a brand new version, a brand new Oakland blog. Right on. Brand new. Woo! Yep, brand new. Very excited. Right. Very excited. Almost done. Hey, almost how, finished. How's your mom doing, Denny? How's your mom doing? She's well. I'm gonna get her on the stream one day. She came up to. She was. She. She. She was. Well, she was just being so nice and. She was bringing the fan up, but I told her I, I didn't need it because of the noise, and she thought, you know, so I, I'll bring her on one of these shows. I know uh, John Marks was asking about her, which I appreciate. Thank you, John. So she, she's just fine. And we just, uh, the damage around here from uh, Hurricane Irma was thankfully minimal. Uh, just, we've got a tree that was, it's over uh, here, and I've actually put up a video about it. Because I made a video while I was at the tree over here is down, and that's the extent of our damage. It's just a lot of tiny branches all over the place that have to be cleaned up on the roof up here, and most of the sidewalk is, you know, out there. 
We've got a damaged fence over here by the barn. I gotta go check the barn tomorrow. Uh, but you know what? At first glance, when I drove up, things looked normal. That's good. good I mean, you know, so yeah, that's good. That was first glance. If, you, you know, if you can't be there, and your mom was in Chicago, and you're, you're at, did, did one of the local police when you're in Oakland, you called someone to look at, do a check. Did they check up on you? Did they check up for you? The fire. The Oakland remember, police. Remember right now, you were talking about that? The Oakland uh, police York? cannot compare to the Fayetteville police. Okay? First of all, and I'm not, I'll say one thing. I'm not saying the Oakland police are bad. I, I happen to think the Oakland police, given what they have to deal with, have done an excellent job. There's some bad apples there, but, right. you know, you've got also some pretty heinous issues they have to deal with. But I digress again. Fayetteville police, if I call the Fayetteville police at 1 o'clock in the morning, they'll come over here. If I'm in Chicago or if I'm in Oakland, they'll come over here and check the place out. They'll see if mom is okay. They'll do it at 3 o'clock in the morning. It doesn't matter. And that's what I like about being here. It's it's not the city. And when I'm back in well, Oakland... That's, that's the difference between a city mentality being the outskirts, for sure. And also, but when I'm back in Oakland, I know everybody. For example, I went to Alan Michon's function at the Grand Lake on 9-11, where they were having a 9-11 Truths you know, convention, and I talked to people about that. And you, know, everywhere you walk here, you know that person. You walk there, you know that person, that sort of thing. And that's a, look, that currency is hard to put a dollar figure on. And it, it really is hard to figure put a dollar figure on. Where, uh, but here, what I enjoy is that I don't have I don't have, there's the wide open space, and I don't feel like people are on top of me. You know, I don't have a siren going off every 30 seconds, it seems. You know, for some emergency vehicle or whatever. It's quiet. And uh, I really enjoy that. Um, and this is a growing region. You Not only that, but consider this. You have a region that's built two new stadiums, actually is building three new stadiums for its sports organizations and will openly tout the economic value of its sports industry at five billion. It will tell you that it has the Hawks Arena under construction, refurbished, soon to be open. It's already opened the Atlanta region, the Mercedes-Benz Dome, which is one of the most beautiful stadiums I've ever seen. I can't wait to go inside of it. And, of course, the Braves have their new baseball stadium in Cobb County, which, you know, I would have liked to, for them to have stayed in Atlanta, but it didn't. And this is a city that when it comes to infrastructure investment, which at the end of the day is what we're talking about. With respect to sports, it gets it. It gets it. And what we have to get to in Oakland is this idea that, oh, sports is not something that you watch, it's something that you do. That's an individual thing. I'm talking about building things, and as I said before, we are underrepresented in terms of the categories that provide us conventions and conferences and meeting meetings and gatherings and events. We don't have enough, and I'm sick and tired of leaving Oakland to do something. Go to Comic Con, go to a Super Bowl, it's always someplace else. Uh, I talked to Pam Drake, a longtime friend who is uh, the head of Lakeshore Business Improvement District the other day, and she has been around a long time. And she was reminding me of something I had sort of forgotten. She said, Oakland has an inferiority complex. And, and you know, when all is said and done, that's the big problem. The municipalities do, yes. And then, but here's, here's the bottom line, and we'll end it with this. We already know that exists, okay? We we're, we're dealing with it on one level, the JP. We're, we are committed to citizen-driven initiatives to forever open, to changing the whole process, one step at a time, with everything that makes Oakland better. Right. Starting on the political landscape. We're, let me remind everybody, we're going after the whole gamut. We're not just doing tailgates. Our tailgate is a community-driven organization. That's why we have so many media friends we're touching lives everywhere to change the whole process forever. 
That means politically, that means sports, that means business. So all those things you say, then we're, we're with you 120%. We understand the disease that needs to be dealt with here, as well as the NFL and the Oakland Raiders. And you, Forever Oakland, the Make Oakland Better Citizen Driven Initiative is going at it all the way. That's what we need to fix. And we're going to go for it on every level. With that said, good night. <laughs> hey. Have yourself a great night to all of our worldwide beyonds. May the mob be with all of you. Continue to support Zenny 62. And remember, we are forever Oakland, only in Oakland. Are you continuing your show? Uh, you mean tomorrow? Yeah, we have tomorrow no, night. No, no, right now. Are we off right now? Are you going to be done? No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going right. to bed. I, 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 I flew in this morning. I got in at, what, 6 o'clock or whatever. And, you know, I'm toast, man. I went... <laughs> God bless everybody out there. Remember, there's a lot of people going through struggles right now. We're oh, well, praying for everybody. There is one thing I'm going to do before I sleep. I'm going to make a video on demand about how the Vegas Stadium project, if there is a snag, it's the same thing as a roadblock. I'm going to make that, and then I'm going to kick it off to bed. All right, so I'll, I'm going to be up for a while. I'll either see it tonight or I'll, I'll see it tomorrow morning. All right, you got it. Bye, everybody. God bless you, your mom, Denny. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. I'm gone. I'll see you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. See ya. Thanks for participating. Thank you all. Thanks all, writing, thank you all. Good. Now, let me, um, raise this up and do this properly for a second. Uh, as I do this. And I'll say it like this. Good night, everybody. We'll see ya.